Hi there, welcome to the 18,000th Spyderco Paramilitary 2 video. Today, I'm just gonna show you some of the accessories that I've, God damn it, cuckoo clock, forgot to shut it off. Uh, anyways, I'm going to show you some of the accessories that I put onto my knife. So just in case you got your PM2 and you're thinking about jazzing it up a little bit, here's some ideas, here's my thoughts of them, good, bad, whatever, um, maybe it'll help you out. So this is a Maximet PM2 made right here on earth, thank God. Um, so anyways, this comes with gray handles and from the factory, um, it also has all of the screws, the lanyard tube, and the clip are all polished. Nice, bright, shiny. Looks fine, whatever, but uh, it kind of looked a little plain Jane for me, so I went ahead and thought I'd black out all the trim on it. So I bought um, from Knives Plus, I bought their screw kit. Comes with pivot screws, four body screws, and clip screws, and this lanyard tube right here. So as far as the screws go, um, I love them. I think they look great. It really kind of gives it a, just a, I don't know, just the black on the gray, I just think it looks way cooler than the polish. So to me, aesthetically, it looks good. Um, but as far as the screws themselves, how they're holding up, I've had this knife apart pr probably four or five times since I've installed these screws the first time. And they're really not showing any wear Inside, I mean, maybe just a tiniest of bits, so like not even enough to tell. I think if it looks like something in there, I think it's more just a reflection right there. But anyways, the 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 screws seem hard. They're not getting um, you know bored out or anything like that. They're um, they're holding their shape very well. The finish inside uh, from from the bits is remaining intact, and also just up here on the flats of the screws, they are. Uh, holding their finish as well. So just like the wear and tear of, uh, of a, the pocket knife being carried in and out of the pocket, pocket change, keys, all that stuff, you know, it's not, uh, it's not wearing it out. So overall, I think the the screws are great. Um, what I do not think is great. Well, not entirely is the lanyard tube. So mini ramp hate freaking lanyard tubes. Nobody that I know, carries a freaking lanyard on their freaking pocket knives. They just look stupid. They take up real estate, real estate space. And it drives me freaking crazy that they have to put these giant freaking tubes on here. So anyways, rant over. Um, this lanyard tube looks sweet. It's black. It, you know, just it's this appears to seem to be the same finish of the screws. So it's holding up well. Looks great. Kind of, you know, breaks it up a little bit. Uh, but the problem is, listen, It's not the same freaking size. So the lanyard tube, um, when you uh, disassemble the knife, it steps up in diameter inside here, basically right up here under this uh, back spacer, it kind of steps up in diameter. It has like a shoulder. So that's what holds it in place in between the, uh, um, not the scales, but the uh, liners. And so that's how it's in there. I think the, sh uh, the shoulder, the shoulder, area of the lanyard tube is a little bit narrower in this dimension. And so you get that freaking rattle. Like what the heck, man? I, I'm sounding super picky and kind of crabby about it, but I hate rattles. Like <laughs> rattling things drive me crazy. Like squeaks and rattles in cars and, or just anything drive me absolutely crazy. So, um, I think I'm going to probably sooner than later replace that with like a uh, lanyard tube plug of some sort just I, and cross my fingers that I can get rid of that. I did even try to take some Loctite and put it on uh, the shouldered bits there to try to seal it up against the liners, uh, but it didn't take, it didn't hold. So um, yeah, just kind of stuck with it. So it looks great. And I guess if you were a lanyard tube nerd, it would probably work great. Um, but you know, when it's in your pocket and you're walking or you're using the knife and you cut something, you know, it that gets on your nerves pretty quick. So anyways, moving on. <clears throat> um, I also put on this backspacer. So from the factory, uh, the PM2s do not come with any backspacer. And this is carbon fiber. So it is one piece. It kind of looks like two piece, but they two pieces, but they milled 
that line right there in it and not over here so you can see that it is actually one piece and this is from Flytanium. So Flytanium does all kinds of stuff um, for, for knives and uh, this is just their simple carbon fiber backspacer. Looks great. I think, I think it kind of really helps with the aesthetic of the um, black trim. Um, I think it looks really nice. It seems to fit really nice. It's recessed slightly, but I think uniformly through here. So it doesn't feel like it sticks. I, I think the fit and finish of it is very nice. Um, my gripe is this milled line right here. From this view, not here, but from this view, it looks like it's hard to tell that this is carbon fiber from this from this view. Like if you look real close, you can kind of see a little bit of weave in there. But to me, it just at a glance, it looks like two pieces of G10 or even maybe just like plastic, like glued together and sold as carbon fiber. So at a glance, I think it looks really nice. The black obviously goes with the black trim theme that I was going with. It fits really nice. Um, functionally, there's there's nothing wrong with it. I don't know how much function there is to a backspacer really, but um, you know, in this in this knife, anyways. But uh, so all that being said, it it's nice. It works well. It wasn't really all that expensive. I can't remember what it was that it cost, but I just wish it looked more like carbon fiber right here. Um, like when you take the knife apart and you take the liner out and you're sitting there looking at it from the side, you can see the carbon fiber weave and it looks really sweet then, but I want it to look sweet when I'm looking at it from this view. So I don't know that milled line is meh, okay. Um, I kind of wish it wasn't there because I think that maybe you would have been able to see some of the carbon fiber weave a little bit better if that wasn't there. Um, or if they would have, you know, I, I mean, I'm not a carbon fiber. Well, <laughs> I don't mess with carbon fiber. I never have, never will. Um, as far as making it goes, but, uh, you know, maybe if they could have gotten the weave up here, you know, just to, sh you know, basically just to pop a little bit better up there. So anyways, pretty sweet. Wish it looked a touch better from this angle right here. Um, anyways, moving on the, of course, the first and thing that most people do is put on a pocket clip. This is a Lynch Northwest pocket clip. I know there's a couple other companies out there that do clips. I freaking love Lynch. He's a super nice guy, super helpful. I think they're priced fine. Um, they make knives for, or clips for tons of knives and he's got the best warranty in the game. So I've got, I think I've purchased, oh, I don't even know, five or six clips from him for different knives over the, over the years and Every single one of them has been perfect. They fit great. They, the finishing, if you, you know, you have so many different selections too. These ones are hard to find, by the way, the black DLC coated ones. Um, I don't know. You kind of have to either watch their website or um, I will say that Casey himself is actually really cool. So I was on there looking for this exact clip for this exact knife on his website. And I was kind of watching for like a week or two or something like that. And I'm like, you know what? I'm, it, they were all sold out. So, um, I just emailed just being a random douchebag emailing about, you know, when is it going to be available? Not, I mean, not all bossy like that. You know, I didn't go full Karen on them or whatever, but I was just like, Hey, when are you coming out with a new batch of these, uh, DLC coded, uh, clips? And he's like, actually really freaking soon. Let me hook you up with my, uh, product manager. And so he forwarded the email over to his product manager and I can't remember his name. I had it in my head earlier, but I can't remember it now. So I apologize if you ever see this video, but anyways, you're a super awesome dude because basically before they went live on their website, he sent me a link to be able to get to their, uh, like uh, the back door and be able to order a couple of these clips. And I thought it was awesome. So that was like, I paid full price. They didn't give them to me or anything like that, but, um, I thought that was super sweet. So like they're every impression that I have from Casey Lynch and the people that he works with, um, is, like big time thumbs up. These, these are stand up dudes. And also more importantly, the product is a very, very high quality. I, I think the, the ramp on the clip, you know, I mean, everything is just great. You know, there's enough spring tension, right? It's, it's perfect. It's just perfect. Um, and I have had to use their warranty a couple times because it wasn't the clip's fault. It was 
my fault, um, but uh, I have a problem with getting out of my vehicle and my pocket clip snagging on the seat belt buckle on the way out. I, I've done it several times. I've done it to a couple Spyderco wire clips and I've done it to a couple um, Lynch clips and I did it to my uh, Rat 2 twice. So I, <laughs> I don't know what, what it, I don't know why. But anyways, you send an email to Casey, like you mess up with the clip. Whether it's your fault or not, it gets jacked up, right? And you send them an email. You're like, hey, dude, tore my clip up. What's up? And the the warranty is all he wants you to do is send him a picture of it because he takes that picture. You know, you just tell him a quick explanation of what happened. Send him a picture of it. He's like, sweet, thanks. And before you even know it, you got a brand new clip right at your door. And it's awesome. And it comes like the packaging is super nice. It's like got a handwritten card like, hey, thanks. You know, like... And it's got like a little drawing of his face on there or whatever. Um, Lynch, I can't talk highly enough about Lynch Northwest. Awesome people. So anyways, this is my knife. And I just thought I'd um, show you some of the accessories. Everybody knows about Lynch clips. Everybody knows about Flytanium. Um, pretty sure, you know, maybe Knives Plus isn't quite as well known as the others, at least to me. But uh, they're probably very well known. Uh, more so than <laughs> I know them. So... Um, but, uh, altogether, I think it really made my knife look sweet. I like it a lot. Oh, and by the way, I do have a mirror polished edge on here. Um, I've got a wicked edge and I sharpen knives and polish them and do all kinds of sweet stuff. So the mirror polished edge. Oh, and as far as sharpening goes with Maximate, um, if you have a Maximate knife and a sharpener, it's really not that big of a deal. Like uh, leading up to me sharpening it, you know, People online kind of give you the impression that, oh my God, Maximin, it's so, uh, so hard. It takes, like they give you the impression that it takes like four days to freaking sharpen a pocket knife. Not true. Um, it did take a little bit longer and I was extra careful because I didn't know how brittle it would be the finer and finer and finer I got my edge. But uh, I just took my time, used very little pressure and just worked my way through my stones and my straps. And it turned out sweet, screaming sharp, and it holds its edge amazingly well. So that's my PM2. Those are the things I did to it. Hope it helps you out in your PM2 purchasing and accessorizing in the future. Take care.